Hi, and welcome to 5-Minute Statistics for Clinical Research. My name is Caroline Herborn, and I am part of the Biostatistics team at GCP Service International. When creating an overview of the data in the frame of descriptive statistics, cross tables are often one of the first choices. In today's video, we want to explain what these are and how to calculate the odds ratio and the relative risk from them. Cross tables are also known as contingency or multidimensional tables. Large amount of data can be summarized in a structured way and possible relationships between important variables can be revealed. Cross tables have a matrix format in which the frequency distributions of the features of two variables are displayed. Let's take an example. We conduct a clinical trial with 200 patients and want to analyze the distribution of occurrence of adverse events in two treatment arms. Therefore, we can separate the patients according to their outcome, whether an adverse event occurred or not, into two columns. In the rows, we then distinguish the two treatment arms. If we had another treatment arm here, we could just add another row. The dimension of a cross table is expandable depending on the classification of the used variables. This table allows anyone looking at it to see at a glance how the adverse events are distributed. From the frequencies displayed here, we can already see that the proportion of adverse events is higher in the arm of treatment A, such that a relation seems likely. Additionally, cross tables can provide subtotals for columns or rows, as well as the grand total. For illustrative purposes, sometimes also images or plots can be found on the horizontal or vertical axis. Now that we have an idea of the data, how can we use this information for the statistical analysis? The strength of the relation that we suspect between the two variables can be measured by the odds ratio. The odds here are telling us how the chances are to suffer an adverse event when receiving treatment A. In this case, the chance is 60 to 40. 60 patients with an adverse event to 40 patients that didn't suffer one equals 1.5. We divide the number of patients suffering an adverse event by those not suffering an adverse event within the group of the patients that receive treatment A. We can do the same for the patients of treatment B, ending up with 10 to 90 equals 0.1 repeating. The odds ratio is then the ratio between these two proportions. It can be used to quantify the strengths of the relation between the two variables. If the odds ratio is equal to 1, the risk is the same in both treatment arms. In case the odds ratio is smaller than 1, the risk is higher in the denominator group. And if larger than 1, the risk is higher in the counter group. In our example, we would end up with an odds ratio of 13.5, telling us that it is much more likely to suffer an adverse event when receiving treatment A. The significance of the difference of the two proportions used to calculate for the odds ratio can be assessed with a variety of statistical tests, but we will address that in another video. Another way of measuring the relation between two variables is the relative risk or risk ratio. It is defined as the ratio between the probability of suffering an adverse event if you receive one treatment and that when receiving the other. In our example, this would be 60 of 100 divided by 10 of 100 equals 6. So the risk to suffer an adverse event is 6 times higher if you receive treatment A than with treatment B. A relative risk of 1 indicates an equal risk in both treatment groups. A relative risk of smaller than 1 in this case would mean that the risk is higher in treatment group B. The difference between odds ratio and relative risk is that the odds ratio is calculated with the odds of an event in the two groups, whereas the relative risk is calculated based on probabilities. The relative risk is usually the parameter of interest in clinical studies. When working with rare diseases though, the odds ratio is a good approximation to the relative risk. So that is it for today. As you can see, cross tables can provide a basic picture of the relation between two variables and can help find dependencies between these. If there are any additional questions, our team of statisticians is happy to help you out. Leave us a message at statistics at gcp-service.com or leave a comment below. If you are significantly satisfied with the content, make sure to subscribe to not miss the next video.